From the beaches to the valleys, your news channel starts right now. I'm Scott Hennessy. Thank you for joining us. Four years after work first started on possible changes to De La Guerra Plaza in Santa Barbara, there's still a big divide on what to do. Senior reporter John Palmentary has been following many of the 14 hearings on this. And John, what's happening now? Well, I can tell you that we're here in Delaguerre Plaza, the center of Santa Barbara. And yes, there's a lot of hearings that have been taking place and a lot of ideas. The bottom line is everyone wants this area to be more welcoming and have more uses. This is an awful plan, period. It is not historic. Since 2019 and at least 14 meetings later, there's still no consensus about the future possible upgrades to Delaguerre Plaza in the heart of Santa Barbara. And it's very emotional, as we heard at the recent Historic Landmarks Commission. The design looks very, very cold. Who would want to go there? The tiles, as lovely as they are, are going to get kicked, and skateboards are going to be smashed against them. This whole plaza will be an eyesore within a year. The project manager says Delaguerre Plaza is really five projects in one. It's architecture, for sure, landscape, uh, utilities, public art, and archaeology. So each are complex, uh, they have their own schedules, they have their own needs, they have their own budgets, but they all need to work together. The most recent illustrations show a decorative landscape, a water feature in the form of a bubbler, a 40 foot wide, 12 foot deep stage area that would go in an area between City Hall and the News Press Building. And during old Spanish days, an even larger stage would go up here. With all the work that's been done so far on changing Delaguerre Plaza, there is a line of thinking that maybe now is not the time and to wait until the nearby State Street promenade designs come more into focus and then integrate the two. For those that want to see the grass remain, they said it's a good contrast to the architecture. It's like a rug, right? It naturally keeps the area cool. And it provides a nice place to sit, have lunch. One speaker said essentially fix it and use it. All it needs is repair and maintenance. On the other side of the plaza, the project also includes redesigning the Anacapa entrance to Santa Barbara City Hall. But so far, the project, as shown, doesn't have a unanimous vote. I am extremely disappointed in what we've got. <laughs> extremely disappointed. And this should be a project where you take and the architect takes and gets rid of the people who've been working on it for five years and brings in new people. The mayor says the bottom line is to see more uses. Eventually, I don't know how State Street is going to turn out, but I think that having, once again, that flexibility, open or closed festivals, but not just one thing all the time, I think is the change that we need. I so there isn't a unanimous consent, that's for sure. They're going to be refining it, working on it, coming up with some different concepts. It's going to come back through some committees. It'll be a while before we see it in front of the full city council. We'll continue to follow this trail and see what happens to Delaguerre Plaza, if anything, in downtown Santa Barbara. Reporting live in Santa Barbara, I'm News Channel reporter John Palmentary. The grass is greener than it's been a long time there. Certainly the hillside's green as well. All the rain we've been getting. Gabe Lenners is in the First Alert Weather Center talking about more rain that's on the way. Yeah, we have another.